Nastic movement versus tropism. This will only briefly cover nastic movement and not fully, but it will explain the difference between tropism and nastic movement. In the previous video, I talked about tropism and its three main components. If you don't know what tropism is, I suggest you go watch that video or learn something about tropism before watching this video. Nastic movement is a plant's response to an external stimulus, but it is independent of the direction of the stimulus, while tropism depends on the direction of the stimulus. For example, a sunflower in photo, phototropism uh, moves towards the sun because the sun is the stimulus. However, in a nastic movement, the plant would react to the stimulus, but wouldn't go towards it or away from it. It would just react and do something else, but not move. An example is the opening and closing of uh, flowers. A photo-nasty plant, which is a type of nasty movement, will close its opening depending on the sunlight. It is still independent because it is not moving towards or away from the sunlight. It is simply closing its opening. Now, this may be a little harder to understand and it's really confusing, but once you understand it, you'll see how simple it is. So, tropism uh, depends, it's a response to the stimulus and it moves towards or away from the stimulus. While well, nastic movement is a response to the stimulus, but it does not move towards or away from it, but does something different, something independent of the stimulus, like close or open. And in tropism, the plant moves towards or away from the stimulus, while in nastic movements, the plant reacts to the stimulus, but doesn't move in the direction of it. That's basically a summary of this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about biology, click on one of these videos or just hit the subscribe button.